In this video, we're gonna talk about how to sight in a red dot pistol. I'm Harrison from Harry's Holsters, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple tips I've learned on how to sight in a red dot pistol as quickly and as efficiently as possible. A lot of good tips in this for newer shooters especially, maybe throwing your first red dot on a pistol and trying to get it sighted in. So you wanna start by going through, looking up all the manufacturer's specs as far as your mounting plate, your optic, and whatever thread locker you're using to make sure you get it all properly installed on your gun. Get everything torqued down, make sure your thread locker is curing for the suggested amount of time, and then go hit the range. So before you hit the range, spend the night before or when you're at the range, look up on your phone and see what the amount that your red dot moves is per adjustment in terms of the clicks that you're gonna use. So this is an Aimpoint Acro P1 that I'm mounting on a Glock uh, 20 Gen 5 MOS. And this optic moves 0.6 inches at 100 yards. Now that's a little weird, but it's a European spec optic. So it moves 17 millimeters at 100 meters. You can easily find this info on pretty much any manufacturer's site. So once you know that, you're gonna wanna decide like, hey, am I zeroing this at 25 yards? Am I zeroing it at 10? Where are you zeroing it? And then divide that by the appropriate number. So if you're zeroing the optic at 25 yards, then divide it by four. If you're zeroing it at 10, divide it by 10. So what I like to do is we're gonna start by getting the gun on paper at 10, and then we're gonna confirm and modify it at 25. One thing I do suggest is have a target that has one inch squares or some sort of grid, so you can easily measure how far your impacted rounds are off. If you don't have that, Get something like a tape measure or a set of calipers, a ruler, any kind of measuring device will work, but that's a lot easier than guesstimation. All right, now it's time to put some rounds on paper and get this optic dialed in. All right, so we're here at 10 yards. I've got five rounds in the mag. We're gonna start shooting, and our adjustments are going to be, one click of the adjustment is 0.06 inches. So to move it one inch, we have to move it 16 and a half times approximately. All right, let's go. All right, let's walk down there and see what it looks like. 10 yards, not the best group. As you can see, that's center line, so make it easy. We're roughly the center of the group, we're three and a half inches approximately as far as the windage, and then the elevation, we are five inches. Four and a half to five inches. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna make the adjustments, and then we're gonna try it again. So we have to move it three and a half inches to the right, so 16 times three is 48, plus eight, so we're at 56 clicks. Pretty drastic. All right, so I made some adjustments. These do not have the most positive clicks, and we're talking about a lot of movement. So I'm gonna shoot it right now and see how it does. So got a little bit better grouping there. It looks like we overcorrected. So I think this is where the majority of shots, I probably threw that one. So inch and a half or not even, actually dead on an inch and a half. And again, an inch and a half to get this adjusted. So an inch and a half is going to be 16 plus eight. So 24 clicks back now. So we're gonna go down 24 and to the left, 24. And if you're a really good shot with a pistol, you can do this one shot at a time, but for most people, I'd suggest five shots at a minimum and maybe even 10. All right, we've made some adjustment. The dialing on this isn't the most positive, so this is where you have to guesstimate a little bit. But five more rounds, let's see how it does. All right, I did not shoot the best group right there, so we're gonna actually put some more paper up and see 
if we can dial it in for sure. Don't be cheap when you're putting targets up. It just makes things a lot cleaner. Also, I only like loading mags to the amount of rounds you're gonna shoot at one time. It just keeps the whole process a lot safer than loading a mag to 15, having to clear the gun at the end of the string of fire. All right, let's go hot with this. See where we are now. I'm gonna fire another five rounds to get 10 because my grouping is not as tight as I'd like it to be. All right, let's go down and see what it looks like. So at 10 yards, this is a two inch high, three inch wide group or two and a half inch. I'd rather see it around an inch personally at this distance, but I'm not used to shooting 10 mil. Right now we're gonna move up. I feel pretty confident this is the center of the group. So we're gonna move eight clicks to the right and then we'll move up a full 16 clicks to go up. So we're going up one inch and going right a half inch. All right, so this time I'm gonna shoot one of the side targets since I've already ruined the uh, middle target. Gonna put another five in. All right, I definitely threw one of those way low on the last one. I felt that one going way low. Overall, I'm gonna say that our up down's pretty good. Just need to move it back around five clicks. And I think after that, we'll be dialed in. All right, I fired eight left because that's what I had left in the box a lot happier with this group. Still a little bit to the right. I think I'm gonna move it around four clicks to the left and then we're gonna confirm zero at 25 yards. All right, actually I'm gonna move back to 15 yards, see what it looks like. We need to adjust the zero even some more after I put up a new target and then we'll move back to 25 and confirm with the Buffalo bore ammo. All right, so I just shot this at 15 yards. So we're gonna come back right, or come back left. Six clicks. Uh, you can see this group's getting a lot tighter here. Part of it might just be me getting used to the gun, but I think another part is this is a brand new gun. Before we shot it today, that's the first 50 rounds through the gun outside of the factory where they probably fired one round, three rounds. So, I'm really happy with that and I think you can see it's improving overall. So great to see that, but I'm gonna move back to 25, try it on this, and then I'm gonna load up the Buffalo bore, see what it does. I threw that one. So that was only five rounds, but after shooting that really tight, good group before, uh, I think this is more representative of where the gun's actually shooting. That was a clear flyer that I caught. One of these I know was a flyer. The other one might have been a fluke, but I'm going to call it zeroed. We're going to put up a new target and then bring it back to 25. That last shot I might have thrown. 
Let's see what it does. There's that last shot I was talking about. But that right there, pretty solid. I feel good enough to put the buffalo bore in the gun. See where it goes. Right. This time I'm gonna shoot for the upper or lower right hand target. All right, I flinched twice, or flinched once for sure, and I might have thrown the other shot with my trigger control. One of them I know went low left, and the other one went low right. The low left was definitely the flinch. I'll try to get a 10 round group. So these three rounds definitely ruin that group. I'm predominantly shooting a little bit low left. So I need to move this up about an inch to three quarters of an inch. We're gonna move it up. We're gonna move it up a three quarters of an inch, which at 25 yards, the adjustments are 0.15 inches. So we're gonna need to do five clicks up. And then I'm pretty confident this gun is gonna be dead on. I've only got four rounds in this because running low on this ammo. So, upper right hand target. All right, I threw the crap out of that target or that shot. All right, let's see what it looks like. Pretty sure that round I threw was one of these. So as you can see, not a bad little grouping there up high. At this point, I'm gonna go back down three. <sighs> Grab another box of ammo, shoot for the center. I'm very confident it's gonna be good enough at 25 yards with my skill level. Let's go. I'm gonna throw another five at it just to see. From what I can see, it's still grouping mostly to the center. Let's go and check it out. Got a nice little cluster here of three to four rounds. I'm gonna call this zeroed at 25. I mean, it's roughly a four inch group. I can't tell if that's one I threw, but. So this is our final zero of the day. I'm happy with it. It's a zero that I feel I can live with. I can go to Alaska, throw that gun on my chest. Grizzly protection is what it's for. And it's a zero I feel that I can take charge and carry with confidence. See you guys in the next video.